Hi friends, I welcome you all to Curious Vet channel. So in today's video, we will be di discussing about some important skin lesions in dogs. I am not going through the details of treatment, but let's see the differential diagnosis of 13 important skin lesions in dogs. First one is epidermal colorite. So this is a picture of epidermal colorite. You can see the edges, scaly edges and the color of the skin. So epidermal colorite are characterized by a rim of peeling edges and a circular shape. Usually they are remnants of previous primary lesions like vesicle, bullae, pustule or papule. They have a sudden onset and widespread distribution and they, they are usually seen with superficial spreading pyoderma or other immune mediated skin diseases. Let's move on to the second one that is papule. First, let's see the picture of papule. This is the picture of papule in the ventral abdomen of a dog. Papules are usually circumscribed solid elevations of skin, but they don't have any visible fluid inside. Next, let's see what is a macule. This is the picture of a macule in a dog. You can see the discoloration of the skin. So macules will be having a change in surface color but it doesn't have any elevation or depression of the skin. Next, what is folliculitis? Folliculitis is actually the inflammation or infection of hair follicle. This is the picture of a folliculitis in a dog. You can see the area here it is having an inflammation of hair follicle so folliculitis is usually the inflammation or an infection of the hair follicle next let's see pharyngosis pharyngosis is actually a severe form of folliculitis you can see the severity from the pictures here. So this is the interdigital pharyngosis in dog. There are different forms of pharyngosis because it is it can be divided because of the location of pharyngosis. This is anal pharyngosis in a dog. It is more severe than the interdigital one. So, pharyngosis is actually a deep folliculitis resulting in a swollen, painful skin lesion. Now, let's see what is pyoderma. So, first, let's see the picture of pyoderma in a dog. is pyoderma in the face of a dog pyoderma is the inflammation or infection of the skin and is often used to specifically imply bacterial skin infection but it is not a specific lesion actually now coming to atopic dermatitis or allergic dermatitis This is a picture of a dog with atopic dermatitis. A 
it is a pruritic skin disease an allergic reaction can occur to occur when an animal inhales airborne substances or ingests a substance to which they are sensitive and the allergic reaction causes the animal to rub lick bite or scratch so this is a pictorial representation of aller atopic dermatitis in dog you can see the different causes of allergy can be mites insects pollen etc or another animal bite then next is acral lick granulomas these are the pictures of acral lick granulomas in dog you can from the picture itself you can see the location it is usually happening on the distal part of the forelimb it is also known as acral lick dermatitis and typically seen on the front part of the lower leg in dogs lesions can develop as a result of chronic and compulsive licking so acral means extremities and lick Uh, uh, depicts the cause of the disease so from the name itself we can see what it is so next is impetigo let's see the picture of impetigo in a puppy usually it's seen in the ventral abdomen mainly in the hairless areas of ventral abdomen so impetigo is used to describe small areas of infection found on the hairless area of abdomen or belly the small areas are filled with pus or pustules and often the pustules break and form crust or circular lesions of scaling skin next coming to ringworm ringworm is actually a misnomer it is not a disease caused by any worms it is caused by fungus so this is a picture of ringworm in the face of a dog you can see the lesion here and ringworm it is the the name of fungus actually this round raised red ring appearance usually seen in ringworm infections they are caused by dermatophytes a collection of pathogenic fungi and 70% of ringworm cases in dogs are caused by microsporum canis 20% by microsporum gypsum and 10% by trichophyton mendogrophytes then infected dogs develop bald scaly patches with broken hairs and usually the lesions are seen in face ear tips tail and feet it can be diagnosed by either fungal culture or uv lamp called wood's lamp or direct microscopic examination of the ear also fungal culture of hairs are the most accurate method and direct microscopic examination can be used for early diagnosis next coming to seborrhea let's see the picture of seborrhea in the ear of a dog you can see the ear margins this is also a picture of seborrhea can see the color change and the texture change of the skin here so in dog seborrhea is a skin disease characterized by defective keratinization or conification of the outer layer of skin hair follicle or close keratinization is a process in which the protective outer layer of skin is being constantly renewed by new skin cells and seborrhea result in increased scale formation occasionally excessive greasiness of the skin and hair coat will be there and this lead to secondary inflammation and infection next is malassezia dermatitis or yeast dermatitis in dogs
This is a picture of a dog with malassezia dermatitis. You can see the lesions on the face, ears. So it is malassezia dermatitis or yeast dermatitis caused by a fungus malassezia patchy dermatitis. It is an extremely common cause of skin disease in dogs. The yeast is normally found on the skin but its abnormal overgrowth can cause dermatitis or inflammation of the skin. Actually it is a common cell. The most common clinical signs of malassezia dermatitis are itchy and itching and redness, musty odor, scales and crusty flaky skin, thickened skin or elephant skin, hyperpigmentation and dermatitis external can also be caused. So next coming to hot spots. Let's see the picture of hot spot first. This is the picture of hot spot in the face of a dog. They are most commonly seen in summer months and they are painful oozing sores that appear seemingly out from nowhere that, that happens very suddenly and spreads also very rapidly also known as acute moss dermatitis they are localized areas of skin inflammation and bacterial infection and they are often triggered by scratching licking or chewing the affected area the resulting trauma to the skin causes inflammation and secondary bacterial infections thank you all so this I, I we were dealing with 13 important skin diseases in dogs i have not included mange in them because mange is a vast topic and it will be uploaded as a separate video thank you all if you really like the video please share it with your friends and subscribe the channel and click the notification bell